I know there are many of you trying to currently grow your clientele or trying to find the right clientele or worried that once you get licensed, you will struggle to find clients. I've been in all three scenarios, trying to build one, trying to find one, and trying to consistently generate one that is going to keep producing more and more prospects. After working on over 1,000 different clients, and I don't say this to boast, I say it so that you know I can help you, I learned that there are two ways to build a clientele, by chasing to find one or by attracting one. When you chase a clientele, you will feel a weight to actively go and find a clientele. And so you will go printing a ton of business cards, flyers, you know, trying to hook up with the business next to you so that they promote you and so on and so forth. And so you're gonna feel that if you're not actively doing something right now for your business, then you're not doing something for your business and your business is not moving forward. And that simply is no longer the case in this day and age. If you have access to the internet and a good phone, all you have to do is do awesome work, capture it in a photo, and then optimize it for search so that the right people can find you. And look, even though there's absolutely nothing wrong with printing extra business cards to be ready to hand out for those that inquire about your lovely nails, there are other more casual ways that actually attract your ideal clientele and that give you just peace and relaxation so that you can focus on performing your best work so that you can attract those clients who enjoy your style of doing nails and will go nowhere else to get their nails done. In today's video, I'm going to show you three things you can start doing right now to start attracting your best clientele, even if you're not yet in or done with nail school. These three strategies will help you start attracting, not chasing, a clientele that will be counting the days until you are officially licensed to take your first client. Let's begin. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolaponsenails.com and I help you master all of your general services using Japanese soft gel only. If this sounds like an issue you'd like to consider exploring and at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Here are the three things you can start doing right now to start attracting your best clientele. Tip number one, have your nails on point always. Listen, I don't care if it's just you, you don't have the models to practice on and so on and whatever other excuse you want to build. That is simply just that. It's an excuse, okay? Well, how do I know that? Because most of the time, like 90% plus of the times, it's only me I have to work and work on and you don't see me slowing down with the content creation. Just like in your scenario, you can do your nails and I mean do them in the most awesome fashionable, most artistic, whatever it is your style that it, you're trying to hone in on, make them the best you can because they are your advertisement, they are your business card. Dress your nails to the exact style of nails you would love doing in the salon. That style that will have you jumping out of bed every workday. Are they short, long, fun, vibrant, blingy? Whatever style of nails you wish to major in as a professional, you need to start conveying it in the nails you wear daily right now. Anytime someone compliments them, let them know you do them and most importantly, where you are in your journey. Are you a hobbyist, nail student, or newly independent? If you're newly independent, meaning licensed and in your own space, then hand them a business card. If you're a hobbyist, let them know you just do them for fun and do them donation based. If you're in nail school, share your school hours when they can come and get their nails done by you. Tip number two, practice taking great pictures. As I often tell my students when they are submitting portfolios to me for grading, you can have the best set of nails, but if you cannot convey that in your photos, your prospects have nothing to reference and really nothing to trust. They would think that coming to see you is going to be a hit or miss adventure. Every photo that goes up on the World Wide Web, including social media, should be intentionally your best work. An easy gray photo can happen just with natural lighting. To capture it in the best light, find the sun and take your photo in the opposite location of where the sun is located. You're using the sun to illuminate your picture. It should be behind you, but make sure not to obstruct it from hitting the nails. If you can capture a photo on a gray day, like it's kind of gloomy, or from a window, you'll notice how much softer and diffuse that lighting will be. 
In the salon, every appointment was booked with a little extra time so that I had time to get up and shoot my client's nails outside if they were picture worthy. It was worth it to me because these pictures continued to cultivate the clientele I desired on autopilot, like when I was sleeping. And of course, it forced me to get up for every service, which is totally healthy and recommended. Tip number three, starting a dedicated Instagram account. Naturally, as you spark conversation with people when you're wearing your awesome set of nails and when you're photographing and archiving them, you will need a digital business card. A digital business card can be in the form of a website, which may be more than you need as a beginner, or a social media profile. And there is no better place to build and attract prospects then on Instagram. On this dedicated Instagram profile, make sure that you 98% of the time only share your nail work. In other words, make sure this is not a mix of mostly your personal life and sprinkle with some nail work, okay? Having a dedicated Instagram account for your nail business will have you creating a name for your business, displaying the information on your specialty of nails and the type of work you can do based on your pictures. Whether or not you have a booking link right now is not super necessary as someone can always direct message you to inquire more about your business. And remember, even if you're not set up quite yet for a legal business, it is still a great opportunity to tell that prospect where exactly you are in your nail journey. That transparency will go a long way. You will start building that connection with them and they will start to trust you, right? To give you their business. And I will even take it a step further and ask them if it is okay for you to contact them as soon as you're set up to take them on. Remember, you can legally take clients in nail school. You don't have to wait until you're on your own. All right, if you enjoyed today's top three tips, I go over additional strategies, including how to grow your clientele while still in school and what to do once you're booked out at capacity because it is only a matter of time with the right strategies inside my course, Client Booster Camp. I'll drop a link to it in the description box below, or you can also wait to sign up to it as part of the Master Gel Nose Pro program. I'll drop information about these courses down in the description box below. It's never too early to start treating your time like money by taking the guesswork and saving you time from hunting and pecking for the transformational information you need that is found in an organized online course. Share your thoughts on today's topic in the description box below. Which will you be implementing? Number one, having your nails done on point always number two practicing taking great pictures or number three starting a dedicated instagram account all right let me know thank you for joining me today and i'll see you in the next one